Hi everyone, I'm Vikas and in this uh, quick proof of concept video, we are going to integrate ZDX with Power BI. This by no means is an exhaustive Power BI integration video. It just shows the power of ZDX APIs and how you can import data using ZDX APIs into Power BI. So with that, let's get started. So as a first step, uh, what you would need to do is create a, create a ZDX API key. Uh, so you would go ahead and create an API key here and assign it the role which you would like to like it to assign. So you can just give it a read only ro role or a read only role with deep tracing uh, based on what your purposes are. And then next, uh, what we are doing here is it's a sample Python code in which we are uh, calling certain APIs of interest. Uh, so on the top, we have authentication going on. And down here, we are calling for a list of applications, storing it in a variable, and make sure you run it before uh, you actually going to use it in uh, Power BI. So let's run it. And uh, we should soon have output here. So yeah, this just to make sure that the Python code is working. Now the next step is to go to Power BI and the first step which you do after going into Power BI is making sure that the right Python interpreter is selected if you are using Python to import data into uh, Power BI. So here we have Python scripting and we have the right path to the Python interpreter set. Now the next step is to go to get data, click on more and then here, uh, what we are going to do is look for the Python uh, plugin, Python uh, source uh, to pull data. Type in Python, click on Python script, hit connect. And then here you're, you're going to paste the Python code which you wrote. So let's go back here. Right, we'll paste this here, hit OK. And what it is doing is it's going to ZDX, pulling the data based on the APIs which we selected, and it will show up here. You can select the fields and the variables which you'd like to uh, and import those data sets into your Power BI app. So here we, we had named the, we were pulling apps uh, using APIs, so let's select that and you will have all of the fields under apps which are here. So you can uh, click load. And this is basically going to load all of that data into this screen. Uh, and from here, we can further go ahead and select uh, specific variables which we are interested in, right? So uh, let's go ahead and select a, a graph type. So I'll just select something here. And then under apps, this is the data which got imported. So let's go ahead and select uh, some data points here. And as you may see, uh, the graph starts to populate and uh, we have data in Power BI. I hope this was informative and thank you for viewing.